from Canada. Chantel Baudreau and the coin toss between the captains, Kenty Robles. Casey Murphy comes back into net. Naomi Gurma now slots in and holds that starting position. Well, the Mexico starting 11, it, it, the first thing that you think of is, is who is going to be the, um, on, on the defensive in Estadio Universitario. And the best crowd that we've had here of the tournament. Perhaps hoping for the home country to get the upset here tonight. <laughs> if you got starters in different positions and, and subs in different positions, that flow is, is going to have to develop. And Mayor with a move in the left shot. Matches. Talk about tantalizing. That one is Sanchez trying to play one in. Over to Purse. Purse hits the post. Such good movement from Mitch Purse. Watch how she peels away from her defender. Sees the release ball coming. That one's fading away from goal, but from Kelly O'Hara. The delivery on a dime. And then Purse just trying to glide that one back to the far post and pings it right off. Sullivan driven and it's punched out by Gonzalez. Sanchez still battling for it. Morgan. Here's Purse, gets tripped up. We got a yellow coming out. Here's Purse. Purse dribbling on her own. Purse cuts it back. Purse with the service. And the shot for Smith. Elevens. And all building to have the legs and the momentum going into games four and five. A chance for Mexico. Sanchez with the shot blocked by O'Hara. And the roar of the crowd, the best crowd that has turned out for the tournament tonight. Purse down the right flank. Purse trying to take it in line, was looking for Morgan, an opportunity right into the hands of Gonzalez. And end stuff, Mexico on the opposite side, and then Purse storming down on this near side. First she beats the defensive center mid, Garcia, and then she's the center back of the opposition, especially Montero, a young one at that for Mexico. Morgan trying to through ball to Smith, and look at Gonzalez come all the way out. Well, that plays NWSL soccer for the Houston Dash. Three shots against Haiti. Will serve up this corner. And O'Hara clears. Garcia in trouble. to the area, there's a header, Murphy coming out and charging. First half or beyond the, the two extra minutes of stoppage time. Let the United States have one last look at it. Gonzalez charging. Wouldn't that have been something if the United States got one on that one? Nil-nil between the United States and Mexico. When we the players are on the pitch are able to find the result, and that's going to be something that, that this group can build upon moving forward. So the second half is underway between the United States and a couple of players, Stephanie Mayor, Maria Sanchez, top four, and expected assists. No finishes for this Mexican side. Here's Morgan looking to finish. Some space for Sanchez, who winds up. She's been isolated all night long. I'm not sure why she's thinking help is coming. The flick on for Sanchez. Horan is there. And coming over is Gonzalez. The takeaway. O'Hara. O'Hara with the shot. 
and it's wide. Very much so. Mitch Purse getting the start up top along with Alex Morgan at the nine. Here is Morgan. Morgan battling for it. Shot deflected. There's Sonic. Another attempt again. Gonzalez, right place, right time. Now some time and space for Sophia Smith, who's had quite the 2022. A left-footed shot, not there. Ordonia is one of the players who had gotten a start in the ninth spot for Mexico in this tournament. And she'll be a, a different prospect, different proposition for Germa and Sarah Brun to deal with. Christy Mewis. And so Smith, who has logged some minutes, her night is now done. And Rose Lavelle in for Lindsay Horan. Ofaye. Ofaye into the area. Ofaye tries to place it in the top of the six. A dangerous play. Sanchez was there. But I do think it's an interesting one when you've got Sullivan, when you've got Smith on the field, and I know you need to rest them. So that is obviously part of the decision making. And he valued that over the experience of trying to find a result in the last 30 minutes or so. That is taking some hits here tonight. Perhaps that heat affecting the truck here as well as Lavelle. Tatiana Guzman, VAR official. Miriam Marcotte, your referee. And she is pulling out the red card. In the first two matches, she had some good play, but that is really, you could argue, one of the more athletic players. Played college soccer at Auburn. One of two college players on the Mexican side. Well, still playing college soccer. Delgado is the other. Megan Rapino, driven ball to the near post. That was hit. Alex Morgan with the near post run. And the delivery is just so good from Megan Rapino. Taylor Korniak subs out Alex Morgan. Wouldn't that have been something? And it's been bright in the NWSL season, her rookie campaign for Portland Thorns. She is uncapped if she were to make an appearance here in this tournament. Well, again, the cut back into the area, the shot, and the save by Murphy. Lopez let it fly. And finally, some joy for Lopez, who's been doing defending all 89 minutes, really. Reyes plays it out wide. Montoya is still staying with it. Or plays it out. Mexico with the cross in. Mexico with the shot to Murphy. Cuerta with the cross to Sanchez. Sanchez trying to settle and turn and find something. Sanchez, Korniak places it up. Sonic! The call. Mewis runs it through. The United States has its goal. to struggle through this game and really look unlikely to find the back of the net. They haven't been creative going forward. An unlikely candidate. And Sonic sitting at the back post. Sanchez does the work, just dancing the tightrope, keeps that ball in bounds. And the ball late first time across at the back post. Sonic nods it down. And Gonzalez, who'd been so strong for Mexico, has the fingertip save. And she just can't get up quickly enough to make a play on it before Mewis, who's sitting in the right area at the right time. And it's an awkward ball. And when that ball is at your midsection, you know you can't get a lot on it. And all you got to do is just try to drive through it, run through it. And I think they're looking at whether or not Sonnet's in an offside position. Mexico looking to answer. Ortonia has made the turn, couldn't get the shot off. 
Thomas. Jenny Chu is pitch side for us. And Mayor placing it out. Here's Montoya. Montoya trying to find the head of Ortonez. And Reyes goes down in the area. 64% possession. The United States has had over the last five matches against them. That's the match. The United States wins Group A in the toughest match that they've had in group play against Mexico, but one nothing in the final. What do you think? We, with the, the starting 11 and projecting into the semis, is it something that we see from match one with the I, United States? I, unless there's other injuries and knocks that, that we don't know about, I would presume he goes back to that. He's been pretty clear in, in saying who his starting 11 are. But I do think Gurma has put in a good shift and it should be posing questions in the coaching staff's mind. Regardless, uh, I think the United States is...